Hi, Scorpa Boo Boo. How you doing? Uh, this is your post Scorpio hangout reading. Thank you, by the way, to everyone who joined me tomorrow because I'm shooting this on, I'm recording this on Friday. So let's see what the universe has for you. What did you think? I was just going to hang out with you and just, you know, l let the weekend have you? Uh-uh. Hi, Scorpio Boo. King of Cups. That's you, baby. Four of Wands. That's an achievement. Ooh, death card. Scorpio. What's going on? Lovers. I'm hearing turning over a new leaf. You are wait, wait for love that you've been missing. Sometimes love takes a long time. Ooh, four pentacles. Okay. All right. That's my, that's my, that's my boo-boo, Luther Vandross. Get the love that you've been missing. Uh-huh. So what, what do we have? Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles. You, Scorpio, why? Why won't you move on? Why Why are you so scared about the future? The The Three of Wands and Ace of Swords, it's, it's becoming clear. Oh, thank you. Angels just said, because it's a big fat unknown for Scorpio. So here's the thing. I feel like on, on a regular day, y'all could take the unknown by the horns and make it your bitch. But for some reason, Scorpio, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's the cowardly lion approach because I think we're still in Leo season, right? Positive Leo, king of the jungle. Negative Leo, cowardly lion, right? Like, are you just on your negative side in your Scorpio ascendant 10th house, which is Leo, Leo season, and I know that, right? Um, but... It, is your is your cowardly side vulnerable side scary side getting the best of you because here's the thing listen you showed up in the first half of the reading like scorpio bitch like what what last half of the reading you're like um <laughs> all right <laughs> i don't know mm -mm. angel said put the morgan things down grab the turquoise and you can get all these um, tarot cards off of Amazon because that's exactly where I got them from. Amazon need to be having an Alex Appreciation Day. Um, tell I just need to go and buy me some stock. I'm just saying. See what I'm saying? Oh, four pentacles, four pentacles, four pentacles. You're holding on. Mm, being possessive. That's what it is. Your possessive side is being activated. Something is scaring the shh life out of you Scorpio what it what it is mm, Queen of Swords you're fearing some sort of departure breakup separation Ooh. and whatever this departure separation or breakup is is near and dear and close to your heart mm hmm there we go stressed about a lover situation struggling to look look ahead move forward Mm, Scorpio, look, I'm calling you by your government, not government, government. <laughs> I got three queens here, two queens, two queens, and the king in justice. All right, all right, you're in balance, okay, because I have two feminines and one masculine. Do we get another masculine? No, we got the eight of pentacles. Yeah, you need to work on your, <laughs> my angels just said skippability. <laughs> Ooh, another oh, queen. Okay. Okay. She came out in one of your previous readings. I don't know if I released that reading, but the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups, this pairing came out in another reading. Mm hmm. Somebody's ex is holding on to them. Maybe I should release that reading. Hell, maybe you're going to, you're going to get two readings this weekend, Scorpio. Because somebody's ex is, is blocking your love, your household, your family. Like somebody's ex is just being a downright asshole. Let's keep it funky. Okay, this is Alex's keep it funky tarot. Um, 
it, it now I want to say I want to say X, but I want to also want to say third party. But the third party is not necessarily your ex. The third party could be a nosy ass parent, right? Or a hating best friend. Or there is another entity that is mucking up a, cert, a particular situation for you, Scorpio. I have three queens. Mm. This to me feels like marriage. Yeah, somebody's trying to hold on to a Scorpio. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And Scorpio is done because he is Scorpio too. Scorpio's like, bitch, would you leave me alone? Right? Did Scorpio done, done, done threw down the big sword? You know, cut them off. But I do feel like if you do have somebody who's lingering a damn Mercury retrograde, want to bring back all of our exes. I feel like this queen of swords is you need to make it crystal clear to them. Listen, I don't like you. Stop calling me. I'm with somebody. I'm happy. I don't want you. You and I are no longer to right. <laughs> the angels just said Scorpio has to confirm it with them. 99 ways from Sunday. Somebody's worried about. Oh, okay. Okay. Scorpio. Now I'm focusing. First off, I was saying this is somebody's approach towards you. Now I gotta talk to you, Scorpio, because I feel like for those of you who are married, in stable relationships, living with someone, Four of Pentacles is almost like, right? Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles. You got stability. You There's financial stability. Uh, Y'all are both on the same page. You're headed in the same direction. Justice, right? Somebody ain't trusting that, right? This is somebody's suspicion that's about to run amok. But I feel like with that death card there, it's like, mm, you better dead that. Okay, you better get rid of that because whatever the situation is, is stressing you out about your love fur. You are looking for some sort of truth, some sort of proof. Ooh, child. I was going to say, I said truth. Angel said, no, they looking for proof. And you are struggling without that proof. You need clarity, reassurance that, baby, we together, we gonna be together, we gonna be together until the cockroaches stop flying, right? Um, somebody doesn't trust that, I get it. But with the Eight of Cup, Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords, I feel like their distrustness, their um, inability to trust, right? Lack of trust is internal. Because the four, four of Cups is always great things going on around you. A reason to be happy. But you ignoring all of that because you're holding out for that one big universal con, um, confirmation. But here's the thing. You will never be able to accept a universal confirmation if, you're, if you are just destined to self-sabotage. So somebody can make it crystal clear to you, Scorpio. No, Scorpio, I ain't cheating on you. I don't want that sting of business. I ain't stupid. You be like, uh-huh. All right, Troy. <laughs> All right, Leela. <laughs> if for some reason, Scorpio, I just get this, this, this heavy sense that you are suspicious in your suspicious energy. Four of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. This is somebody holding up. Mm, I get it. I get it. I get it. I feel, you know, again, Scorpio, this is us, right? We family at this point. Shit. I need to claim some of y'all on my taxes. I'm just saying. Um, King of Cups with the Four of Pentacles says to me, you are, you should feel secure. You should, you know, you're happy. You're in love. Your heart is wide open. Okay. And as a result of that, your possessiveness is being activated. So now you're trying to hoard and hold and, and clutch and smother um, a romantic, a loving situation, a home situation, a situation that you're very emotionally invested in, okay? But baby, smothering causes death, okay? So it's almost like if you don't get a control of this smothering nature, baby, you may run the risk of killing something that you've invested great love in okay 
you are worried about your lover. You are. I Listen, <laughs> I said what I said. You are stressed and worried not being able to sleep at night about your lover. Oh, mm, mm, mm. this is what I'm getting. And I'm going to put it out there. I'm sorry for who this is going to resonate with. But I feel like if y'all live together, there are certain parts of the night where you wake up and maybe just reach out to see if your lover is there or look for them, uh, you know, throughout the night. Three of wands, five of wands. All of this seeking, searching is going to cause argument. You, mm, what did they say? If you, if you looking for something, you going to find it. If you looking for negativity, man, the universe will bring in Oscar worthy negativity. You hear me? So I feel like all of this looking souls, the searching that you're doing is going to cause, cause disagreements and arguments. Angels also said too, you should be looking within, right? So in other words, if you're highly suspicious at this point, Scorpio, don't look outside, look for all the clues. Well, where they at? Where they, I need to see their phone. I need to check their receipts. Baby, you need to look inside and figure out why the hell am I feeling like this? Why do I feel this insecure? Why do I feel this nervous and scared that my heart is about to be broken? Where's all this coming from? Okay. Okay. So what are we doing now? <laughs> my angels. Angels are like, you're going to put them raggedy, that raggedy ass third row down. I can't. I have the four of four pentacles here twice. The four of pentacles mean it's feeling... Uh, is being stingy, it's clutching, it's holding on, it's grasping, it's being closed, right? Not only that, but what I also just got as well when I said clutching is that you're blocking forward progress. You're trying to hold on to this dime piece or somebody's trying to hold on to you. They think you fine. They think you cute. Your breath even smell good, Scorpio. <laughs> right? Somebody somebody is not only just in love with you, but there is deep 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 attraction to you. And here's the thing. Scorpio is addictive, right? Addictive, not addicting like not not like y'all are addicted. People are addicted to you. Come on now, Scorpio Nation. Come on now. That's the second day of Scorpio school. It's like, well, here's, you're going to have to get used to the attraction. And you're so damn sexy and magnetized that people just going to be attracted to you for no damn reason. That's day two of Scorpio school. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put my raggedy ass third row down now from my angels. Okay, my cards are out of sync some of them are upside down so if you see a reversal pop out it's because so what do you need to do what else is on your mind scorperoo scorpa boo boo roo Ooh, four cups so now i have three fours clustered here i have four fours on the table one well oh, five fours one two three four five yeah scorpio stagnancy and stability the positive side of a four is stability. The negative side is stagnancy and um, possession. Mm, we can call it stinginess. Okay. Temperance. Okay. Temperance is you need to rebalance. Okay. Okay. Knight of Cups. Mm. I'm hearing for some of you, what triggered your suspicion was the, it, ooh, child, oh my God. It feels like because you needed love or your person needed love and when they needed that love, they felt like you weren't there to love them. So they felt rejected or cut off or abandoned and that's what triggered their suspicion. It's almost like, well, if Scorpio ain't loving me, who's Scorpio giving their addictive love to? Mm. I really do feel like these are your sentiments though. You felt abandoned by someone just because they didn't show up when you needed them to. Mm. I am calling out somebody today. 
Three of Wands waiting for your ships to come in. I really do feel like you're waiting for an explanation, confirmation. Yeah. It's almost like you... Hold, hold on. Y'all know who this is. Y'all remember your mom standing there with her hands and tapping her foot? Can you hear my foot tapping? That's, that's what I get from this Three of Wands. You're... <sighs> I really do feel like somebody's not necessarily waiting for things to just balance out as in, oh, it was me. This is a problem. I'm going to fix it. Life goes on. No, it kind of feels like somebody's waiting on the bullshit. They're waiting on confirmation to see. I knew it. I know my instincts. No, baby. Those are not your instincts. I can tell you right now. Those are not your instincts. It's your, that's your worry. Your negativity. Nine of cups. Good. Yeah, star card. I'm gonna tell you something right now. <coughs> if you're a cross watcher, excuse me. If you're a cross watcher and your Scorpio is is uh, greeting you with a tail, uh huh. Bring your ass up on in here, um, Lisa. Right? It's because they need love. Now I know Scorpio is an intimidating sign. Lord Jesus. You know, it's 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 like hugging fire sometimes with you, Scorpio. It's it's like hugging a, a tornado, and you need to recognize yourself as that. Everybody can't approach you. It is what it is. I get I get it all the time. I'm like, well, I hear people say, "Well, why couldn't they just tell me the truth?" I appreciated the truth. I'm telling you no goddamn truth while you sitting there holding that sword. Shit, I don't know what kind of mood you in today. Um. But you need to recognize why people can't approach you or why people don't approach you um, just because of who you are. You are intimidating, intimidating as fuck. And I don't care what you look like. I don't care your body stature, image, whatever. You're a Scorpio. You got that damn stinger. Okay. I'm avoiding you. <laughs> okay. So if, if you are waiting on the truth or clarity or something, just know you may be waiting for a minute just because... You know, it's like um, angels are saying, number one, they're too suspicious. So the energy is flowing out. In other words, the suspicion is flowing out and it's a heavy dominant energy. So something flowing back in doesn't stand a chance because this is the dominant energy. Um, yeah, I'm just wait. I'm waiting for him to get home because I want to check his draws. Don't laugh. Some people do that. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you. All right, moving on. Um, so anyway, you, you, if you are a cross watcher to Scorpio and your Scorpio is being highly suspicious, the only thing that you need to do is reconfirm your love for that Scorpio and that suspicion will go away. Point blank period. Okay. Now, mind you, cross watcher that I gave you that information. If that same Scorpio is watching this video, listen, don't be reading the script because Scorpio will know if it's genuine or not. Okay. But 10 times out of 10, a Scorpio is going to um, feel suspicious because they feel love deficient. Okay. And star card, Ace of, Sword, Ace of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. I feel like whether it's you, your person, whoever this reading is resonating with, whether it's you or your person, I feel like they're aha moment or there's going to be a moment when they receive clarity right? Um, you could have thought you saw your, a message on your Scorp Scorpio's phone and you later to come, like you might've saw Scorpio looking at, um, um, some, a person's picture right in their phone. And you may be saying to yourself with your suspicious ass, mm -hmm, that's that bitch he fucking with, or that's that, that dude, she, you know, she's fucking with. And it might have been their daughter's boyfriend or their daughter's baby daddy or their their son's, you know, best friend got his hair dreaded. You know what I mean? It We're in the Mercury. We're in the shadow period of the, of the Mercury retrograde. OK, shit happens in that way. So I would just say to you, Scorpio, manage your suspicions wisely. Manage your tail wisely. The seven of swords, deceit. Deceit, deceit. Somebody needs to work on their deceitful nature. Now, Scorpio, you know you the secret keepers, lovers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know you the secret keepers. Scorpio can keep a secret. The Hierophant. That was the card that was flipped up, upside down. 
The Hierophant is organized religion for me. The Hierophant is your, your spiritual advisor, priest, baba, you know, imam, whomever. Um, somebody trying to break up your happy home, point blank period. It is what it is. Now, I do have a very strong message for you. Seven of Swords here twice. Scorpio, you don't need to be engaging with anybody who wants to break up your relationship or situationship or marriage or, you know, you don't need to be speaking with the enemy. You don't. You don't. Okay? And please send this video to your person. You want some potent atomic Scorpio stinger ass tail? You want some of that? Talk to the, to, to the freaking ex that I can't stand. Right. As an example, that's not me. I'm just saying. Right. Talk, talk to the talk to my quote unquote enemy. I don't believe in enemies. They're weird, like the concept of enemies, because I'm just like, how could one person have all that energy of hate towards another? But I know it happens. But anyway, um, you have the lovers here twice. Yeah, angels are saying somebody has been keeping secrets and telling lies. But I really I also want to say to you, or have they, right? I really want to say to you, is this what you're conjuring up in your own mind? Those, those bullshit instincts. Mm. All right. Angels just said ultimatum too. I glanced at the cut, at cut master flex. I was thinking about the ace of swords and I glanced here and I feel like somebody's going to try and give you an ultimatum. Mm -mm, don't give Scorpio an ultimatum, please. <laughs> Scorpio would be like, fuck you and the horse you rode in on. Mm-hmm. Four of Pentacles and the, the queen, of, queen of Wands holding on to this attraction. You're praying to hold on to your person. Oh, there he is. Page of Wands. Another damn four. Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Page of Wands being immature. I feel like somebody's about to issue an ultimatum, but don't do that for, with Scorpio because Scorpio is the sign that will cut its own nose off to spite its face. Scorpio, y'all love blowing stuff up. So cross watcher, do not give Scorpio a reason to blow something up. Don't do that. Don't do that. Right. You'll be like, oh, here's a stick of dynamite. Scorpio, like wait a gasoline, bitch. <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, right? King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Whoever you're with is proud to be with you. They feel like they have it all. This person, I dare to say, right? Four Pentacles could be seen as that as well, in my opinion, my my reading, as pedestals, right? Because you see how, I'll just pick this one up. You see how they're standing on Pentacles. This person may have you on a pedestal. Ooh, don't do that. Mm -mm. You don't want that tail high up in the air? Hell no. Put that damn tail down. Let Scorpio sit right down on the floor. <laughs> I can't. Okay, so they saying read the middle row. Four cups. Um, somebody is not feeling love. They feel emotionally disconnected or dis disengaged. Um, I do kind of feel like things will eventually balance out in due time, in divine order, divine timing, right? Knight of Cups, there is a healthy flow of love here. Three of Wands, somebody's waiting for resolution. Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment. Star card is wishing. Seven of Swords is being deceitful and the lovers. And then we have the Hierophant. So that kind of says to me that... Mm, okay, put that in English. This person loves Scorpio deal, dearly so much that they have even considered being married to Scorpio or living with Scorpio if they're not already. But this person is too afraid to show that because they, they're they fearful that Scorpio doesn't feel the same about them. I got it. I got it. That's why they're waiting. That's why there are all these fours here, specifically the four of cups. Because they're waiting on, I have the four of cups here twice. They're waiting on, they're waiting for you to deliver this love back to them. I get it. The emotional fulfillment. So Scorpio, if you're having issues in your own personal relationship, 
it could be that you're withholding love, right? And your person needs a healthy dose of Scorpio love. I get it. They need your reassurance, bottom line, Scorpio. Okay. 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 Um, now, angels are saying, yeah, this is a love reading, but please keep in mind, this could be mother, daughter, father, son, um, two besties, you know, two homeboys, um, co-workers, right? It feels like somebody, somebody is wanting to be seen by you, Scorpio, and they're acting out because they don't feel seen by you. I gotcha. Manifestation Moonology, where you at? Two. Attune to the divine, embrace embrace the flow of life. Into, attune to the divine and embrace the flow of life. That's basically focus on God, go with the flow, right? That's what the temperance is and justice. It's all going to work out, Scorpio, right? If you're the one who's suspicious, baby, put your tail down. Go go have, go have a, a milkshake, right? One thing I love, who child. The McDonald's um, strawberry banana smoothie. You could probably hit me with a car, but give me a smoothie. I'll be like, it's all right. I'll go and get my leg fixed. That's okay. I'll be all right. <laughs> right? Like, I just love that smoothie. No, don't fucking hit me with a car because I'm coming after you and then I'm going to have a smoothie. I'm just saying. <laughs> Take a breather. Look at that. I just said go have a smoothie. Take a breather. Yeah, you're doing too much. Um, step into your power. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense to me. So it kind of feels like right now your your suspicion is is having a field day with you. It is Scorpio. And it could run the chance of fucking up something that you really, really, really want in your life. Okay. So I would just say if you are deeply suspicious, even if you're suspicious about an employer's offer or whatever the case is, mm -mm, it ain't them. <laughs> it ain't them, baby. And just again, as a side note, I'm wrapping this up, but as a side note, my delivery in these readings, okay, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> I ain't sitting here just, just giving you a good tongue thrashing and I'm be like, okay, bye. You just, you is negative, you is toxic, you have that sting. No, hell no. I'm showing you what, I'm showing you your energy or how your energy is being perceived by someone else. So, so you can understand and correct, right? Because truth be told, King of Cups, all Scorpios, myself included, come on, you don't think I love some peace of mind? Okay, so just, just as a side note, baby, a lot of people tend to think, this one person left me a comment, this is depressing. I'm like, oh, well, she's depressed, <laughs> right? And I'm just like, no, my messages are to help. And I know I don't have to say that, say that to a lot of y'all, y'all rocks with your girl. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for joining me on the Scorpio Hangout. I love that you, I love every one of you. And I can say that because I've seen you before. Some of y'all are ride or die with me and I love you for it. And if, if this is your first time, hi, Blue. <laughs> All right, I love you, Scorpio. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.